Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I have a pretty card featuring Spellbinders Being Around You Wreath. The focus for this card is creating a softly textured background for this delicate floral. If you are interested in any of the products used to make this card, you can find links in the description of this YouTube video or on my blog at bonniecarolee.com. This beautiful stamp set is comprised of the wreath and several individual images that can be used to augment the wreath or be used on their own. The wreath and a number of those individual florals and greenery pieces were stamped on Bristol Smooth cardstock with Versamark ink. For those smaller pieces, I stamped way more than I ended up using, but you never know. I love the combination of pink and gold, so of course my embossing had to be gold. For the background, I started off with a panel that was four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches A2 size of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm using a fan brush to apply Ranger's Multimedium Gloss Gel to the panel. This will create thin vertical brush stroke lines. After the gel has dried, a damp sponge is used to apply spun sugar distress paint to the panel. There are two coats of this pretty shell pink drying between the applications. The overall effect is very subtle, soft and pretty. After the panel is dried, a wet one is used to very lightly wipe the top of the panel to pick up any of that paint that may be sitting on top of the gel. I wanted to add a bit more texture to the striations of pink and white on the panel, so I applied the gel in a crisscross fashion with a palette knife. The panel was a bit warped after the application, but when I dried it with my heat tool, it flattened it out completely. This background will be soft and prettily textured and it will not detract from the wreath but will add some overall interest to the card. Because the images are small, they take no time at all to color. I'm using Zig markers, just four colors, green, yellow, pink and a peach pink. Nothing fancy, no highlighting or shadows, just straight coloring. And what did take a little bit of time was the fussy cutting. To make it easier, I left about a sixteenth of an inch border around the image. As soon as the wreath was fussy cut and I could lay it out on my panel, it was clear that I'd stamped too many of the individual images. Like way too many which I have to admit gave me a little bit of a sense of euphoria, way less fussy cutting. To create an interior frame on the panel, I'm using post-it note tape to hold two dies together from one of Spellbinder's nesting die sets. I cut both the panel and matte gold cardstock. The panel and the gold frame are mounted on white sheet foam. This panel and the outer frame are adhered to a top folding A2 sized card base. The sentiment is stamped with Versamark ink on white cardstock and then embossed in gold to be consistent with the embossing that is on the wreath. The sentiment is trimmed down, mounted on matte gold cardstock and then onto foam. Foam squares were used to adhere the wreath to the card, giving it some dimension. Some of the flowers and leafy images were adhered directly to the panel. The variation in dimension adds greater depth to the wreath. Pink confetti was picked out of a soft pastel rainbow mix. And then I had to add in a few clear ones from the mix. Can you have too much confetti? After everything was adhered, they were topped up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. Just to round off the panel, I ended up using some white Nouveau Drops as well. 
And that wraps up this card featuring a beautiful new stamp set by Spellbinders Being Around You Wreath. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I appreciate your visit.